Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the uh, Scott Sports 101. We'll call it a Browns uh, early games update show because most of the games are in the third quarter right now. Uh, right now, the Browns find themselves down 20 to 3 to the New York Jets with 3.07 to go in the third quarter. We'll get to that in just a moment. We'll talk about all of today's games. Uh, and yesterday's games as well. Uh, but first, here is today's Scott Sports 101 trivia question. Which Jets defensive end got 107 and 7 and a half quarterback sacks in his first 100 starts? I will have the action uh, later in the podcast. <clears throat> well, the show must go on for the Browns versus the Jets on Sunday, despite the fact that uh, their top four receivers and two starting linebackers are, uh, are on uh, COVID-19 reserve. The NFL determined that everyone else was safe. As we've stated throughout the year, and clubs are, are well aware, uh, we make uh, all reasonable efforts uh, consistent with uh, underlining uh, health and safety uh, principles to play all regular and postseason games as scheduled. And NFL spokesman Brian McCarthy told Cleveland.com, as he told them. Now, as I've indicated, the Browns are down uh, six players today because of COVID-19. Jarvis Landry, B.J. Goodson, Rashard Higgins, uh, 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 Kahadaro uh, Hodge, Donovan Peoples-Jones, and Jacob linebacker Jacob Phillips as well. So hopefully we get those back guys back in time for the playoffs because this is a team that's on the verge of making the playoffs, and there are very many play scenarios. Uh, and the Browns just scored a touchdown, so now they're down 20 to 10 with 256 to go in the third. So let's see if they can make a comeback uh, the rest of the third quarter and in the fourth to come back from behind and win this game. And uh, so hopefully we'll be able to do that and. Uh, and so we'll see what happens with this game. Hopefully we can make that comeback and come from behind. Uh, right now, I'm going to go over the uh, Browns game right now. From the, from what? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the uh, Browns uh, kicked a field goal in the first quarter. They got as far as the uh, 40, the uh, 39 uh, yard line, and kicked a 44 yard field goal, and that was good by Cody Parkin. That was three nothing Browns. Then the Jets scored their first touchdown of the game. Uh, uh, Crowder's pass to uh, deep right uh, to uh, Barrows for the 43 yard touchdown. Uh, Fickens' uh, extra point is good, and uh, it was seven three Browns at the end of the first quarter. Uh, then we go into the second quarter. Uh, the Browns uh, missed a field goal. It was a 27-yarder. They they only got as far as the uh, 27-yard line, so the, the Jets 27. Then the, uh, then they had the Browns had a punt. And then the Jets went three and out and had the punt. They had five plays and six yards. And the Browns had the punt. Then the Jets had the punt one more time. And then it went back to the Browns. And then... The uh, Jets scored their uh, second touchdown of the game. Sam Donald's pass short right to uh, uh, Her uh, Herndon for the 11-yard touchdown. Ficken's uh, extra point is no good. And it was 13-3 Jets at the break. In the third quarter, the uh, Jets scored their third touchdown of the game. Sam Darnold's pass deep right to Jay Crowder for 30 yards. Uh, for a 30-yard touchdown, Ficken's uh, extra point is good. And it's 20-3 uh, Jets. And then Nick Chubb up the middle for, for a one-yard touchdown. Cody Parker's extra point is good. Right now, that's where the Browns find themselves. Down, uh, down twenty to ten right now, 
uh, in the uh, third quarter with 256 remaining. Uh, I'm going to go over all of today's, of uh, yesterday's action. Actually, we'll start with Friday's, which was the final Thursday night game, which aired on Friday, Christmas Day. The New Orleans Saints wallop the Minnesota Vikings 52-33. to Boy, Minnesota they had chances, but they could not get over the hurdle. And uh, th it was just one of those games. Uh, and I give the game balls to uh, Drew Brees. Uh, My to Drew Brees, uh, Elvin Kamara, and uh, Emmanuel Sanders. That's who I give the game balls to for that one. And they had their chances, and uh, and uh, they had chance, and they just could not get over the Vikings. Just could not get over the hurdle, and. The Vikings were in it up until the fourth quarter, and that's when uh, the uh, New Orleans Saints just ran away with it in the fourth quarter. They kept it close to three quarters, but they just uh, could not get over the hurdle for them to get the win. Uh, the uh, the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers walloped the uh, Detroit Lions 47-7. And boy, it's Tom Brady that gets the game ball for that one. I'm, I'm giving it to Tom Brady. And uh, Mike Evans and uh, Vaughn, uh, Keyshawn Vaughn. So uh, it's just one of those games Detroit just uh, didn't stand a chance. And uh, the... Uh, <sighs> San Francisco 49ers upset the Arizona Cardinals at University uh, of Phoenix Stadium in uh, uh, Phoenix, Arizona, 20 to 12 yesterday. And the Vikings Saints game was at Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans, and Buc Bucks and Lions game was Ford Field in Detroit. But uh, University of Phoenix Stadium, where the 49ers just upset the. Uh, uh, Cardinals 20 to 12 and I thought Arizona would win this game and but I got to give it to Jimmy Garoppolo I got to give the game ball to him and that one because uh, Arizona had chances and they just things did not go their way uh, oh was uh CJ Beatling gets the game ball excuse me a uh, beat beat hard uh, uh Jeff Wilson, and uh, there's one more. George Kittle, I believe. Yes. They get the game ball for those games. For that game. So, uh, those are the ones from yesterday. We'll go over the games today in just a moment. But right now, uh, it is time now to reveal the answer to today's Scott Sports 101 uh, trivia question. Uh, uh, which uh, Jets defense, uh, defensive end got 107.5 quarterback sacks in his first 100 starts? And if you said Mark Gastineau, you are correct. At the time of his retirement, Gastineau was, an, was the NFL's all-time leader in sacks. I will have another trivia question on my next podcast. It will be for my uh, uh, final Monday night podcast of the season tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Uh Right now, we're going to go over all the other games today that are going on right now. The early games. Uh, the uh, You know the Browns are down 20-10 to 10 right now with 42 seconds to go in the third. Hopefully, they're going to come behind and win this game. I'm keeping the faith. Uh, the, Buffalo, the Baltimore Ravens and the New York Giants are scoring off right now. Buffalo is walloping the Giants. Giants have the ball. 27-6, uh, to 6, Baltimore is walloping them with 13-30 in the fourth. That was in the third uh fourth quarter oh i forgot one from yesterday the dolphins beat the raiders by one 
26 to 25 at Elijah Stadium uh, in Las Vegas. So let me, and I give the game balls too, because uh, the Raiders had a chance and they just could not get over the hurdle. And it did not go their way. Ryan Fitzpatrick uh, and Miles Gaskin, they both get it. They get the game balls in this one. So, uh, and so uh, that that was a win for Miami. I guess and keeps their playoff hopes alive. Uh, now getting back to the and uh, uh, Baltimore's trying to keep their playoff hopes alive. Uh, but uh, the Giants have the ball right now. It's twenty-seven six Baltimore. The uh, the. Uh, the uh, Houston Texans and the uh, Cincinnati Bengals are tied at 24 in the fourth with 13.39 to go. Cincinnati has the ball. The uh, Chicago Bears are walloping the Jacksonville Jaguars. And the, uh, the, uh, ba- the R- Ravens Giants game is at uh, Baltimore and Baltimore at MIT Bank Stadium. And uh, the, uh, yeah, the Browns and the Texans game and Bengals game is at uh, NRG Stadium in Houston. The uh, Bears and Jaguars. Bears are wobbling them 34 to 10 at Everbank Stadium in Jacksonville, Florida. Chicago has the ball, and Jacksonville is just not looking good in this one. Uh, the uh, Kansas City Chiefs and the Atlanta Falcons in a low-scoring one, with 7:58 left in the fourth. Kansas City's beating the Atlanta Falcons 10 to 7. Very low-scoring game, and uh, it's at uh, Arrowhead Stadium in uh, KC. And another one if the Indianapolis is beating Pittsburgh right now. At uh, Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, 24-21. If they can hold on, the Browns will clinch. If they do not win this game, if, if the Colts win, the Browns will clinch their playoff berth. So we'll see. And in the late games today, uh, the uh, Denver Broncos will take on the Los Angeles Chargers at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. And that will be at 4.05. The Carolina Panthers will take on the Washington Redskins. At FedEx Field in Washington, that will also be a 4:05 start. The Los Angeles Rams will take on the Seattle Seahawks at uh, CenturyLink Field in Seattle, and that'll be a 4:25 start. The Philadelphia Eagles will take on the Dallas Cowboys at uh, AT&T Stadium in Dallas, and that will be a uh, also be a 4:25 start. And tonight's final Sunday night game of the season will be a. Uh, uh, Green, the Green Bay Packers and the Tennessee Titans at a legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay. And uh, tomorrow's final Monday night game of the season will be the Buffalo Bills and the New England Patriots at Gillette Stadium. So uh, those are the games that will be going on both today and tomorrow. And uh, right now the Browns, uh, the third quarter's count to an end. The Browns are down 20-10. to 10, And we'll hopefully, hopefully they can come from behind and win this game. In the f- <clears throat> in the fourth quarter, well, that's just about going to wrap it up for the Brown for the Scott Sports One Hundred One Browns early uh, games uh, uh, update show. I'll have the Browns early and uh, early and uh, uh, Browns early games post game show and late games pre game show once the Browns game has concluded. But until then, always remember be a team player each and every day and every way possible. So long, everybody. Three, two, one, I'm done.